Hey guys, James here from Windows X Lite. I hope you enjoy Kev's video on my Optimum 10 V5 release. And Kev, thank you for being so supportive of my work and for creating awesome content for us all to enjoy. Hey there, friends of the BMG project, and thanks a lot for tuning in to this special episode, the Optimum 10v5 Fun Facts. As always, only and exclusively at kevstars.com and only for our subscribers. Before we start though, friends, I highly recommend telling all your acquaintances and friends about our The BMG Project group channel that they can find on YouTube and Rommel and on Dailymotion, and which is filled to the brim with various awesome content related to pretty much everything. From cooking videos over gaming console and PC gameplays and several Windows custom builds, till travel vlogs and even kitty videos, there is literally almost everything that we have here on our The BMG Project channel. And that's pretty cool. Alright then friends, coming back now to the Optimum 10 v5 fun facts on my mid-end main rig that is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 5 3600X CPU clocked at 3.8GHz base speed, an AS Rock AMD Phantom Gaming X Radeon RX Vega 56 8GB GPU, 32GB of DDR4 RAM by G-Skill Aegis, a crucial P5 NVMe M2 500GB SSD plus several other internal SSDs, and an MSI B450M pro vda H plus mainboard. James, the creator of the famous Phoenix Light OS and Windows X Lite custom lineup, has mentioned multiple times how much time and how much hard work he has put into his latest Optimum 10 v5 release, and I'm going to show you guys that all his efforts were truly and remarkably successful. Let's start first with a comparison of vanilla Windows 10 LTSC IoT 21H2, which is already a noticeably leaner and cleaner version of Windows 10 by default, and James' Optimum 10v2 custom build, the predecessor version of Optimum 10v5. The amount of CPU process is decreased by around about 45%. This is very good. The amount of CPU threads decreased by around about 26%. This is also very good. The amount of CPU handles decreased by around about 30%. This is very good again. And the amount of used RAM was equal by 2.1 GB on both systems. This value is generally not bad, but could be definitely better when it comes to custom builds. And now friends, I'm gonna show you a comparison of James' Optimum 10 v2 and his newest Optimum 10 v5 custom build release, the successor version that I'm currently running on my main rig. Buckle up and let the magic work. The amount of CPU processes is decreased by around about 16%. This is very good. The amount of CPU threads is decreased by around about 30%. This is good. The amount of CPU handles is decreased by around about 17%. This is very good again. And finally, the amount of used RAM is decreased by around about 14% from 2.1 GB to 1.8 GB. Nice! All these figures about Optimum 10 v5 are amazing, friends, and taking into account that we're talking here about a further tuned and further tweaked custom build than it already is, make the whole facts even more amazing. All this being said, hats off to you, James. Very good job. Coming now to my conclusion as for Optimum 10 v5, friends of the BMG project. As I've already said in my previous Optimum 10 gameplay videos here on our channel, I definitely recommend James' latest Optimum 10 v5 custom build for users equipped with mid-end desktop PCs that come with the same or similar software and hardware specs like my own mid-end main rig and who are into productivity and stability combined with a high level of software and hardware compatibility. Alright then, friends of the BMG project, we've approached the end of this special video here. Thank you for watching guys and feel free to leave a comment telling us your favorite Windows custom build. Like a CEO, I move like an athlete pro, I party like a rock star show.